I'ma get it, you know I be on them. I don't think Pittsburgh should try to be known as the world's AI city. It should be known as the world's serious AI city. Some of the best talent anywhere in the world when it comes to robotics, when it comes to autonomy, is right here in Pittsburgh. We can actually get 10 more gigawatts of power by using the technology stacks you see here without building a single new power plant. We've got the energy, we've got a growing technology base, and we've got an unutilized industrial capacity that is a perfect home for us to build the next industrial revolution right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We just have all of these incredibly rare ingredients in one city. Pittsburgh is the place where AI gets real. Pittsburgh doesn't wait for the future. We build it. From steel, to medicine, to space tech, this city has always been a forge for what's next. Not because of flash, but because of people. Builders, problem solvers, grit in their veins innovators who turn legacy into launch pads. Right now, the world is in a new industrial revolution, powered by AI, automation, and the massive amounts of infrastructure behind it. And once again, Pittsburgh is right at the center. On Robotics Row, Aurora is scaling the future of autonomous trucking. But it's not just a bet on autonomy, it's a bet on Pittsburgh. We're a homegrown company, right? Like we're excited to be here in Pittsburgh. This is an incredible community. It's a community that's welcomed us. Uh, we've been able to develop incredible partnerships with city leadership, with state leadership, uh, and we've seen a commitment from our partnerships here, right? Not just government partners, but also the foundations that are committed to see the growth of this industry because this is the future of the city. This is a community of builders. We've been doing this for, for generations here in Pittsburgh, and autonomy and robotics is just a continuation of that work. In Bakery Square, we're a stone's throw away from the Oakland University corridor, home to two R1 universities, University of Pittsburgh and Carnegie Mellon, the nation's leading AI school. Here, Lovelace AI is building where the full stack lives, leading the future of defense tech with a fusion of data and talent. Because real AI doesn't live in the cloud alone, it needs physical roots. Just like if you're making a movie, you've got to have a bunch of different roles in order to make a useful AI. That goes from people like the ones you see in this room who are experts at massive amounts of data and the mathematical models around it. But they live on the shoulders of experts who get the chips and the underlying hardware working. They live on the shoulders of the folks who give the power, not only for the compute, but for the cooling that you need for the compute. How important is it that those minds are co-located in one place. It's extremely important that folks are nearby. You get this notion of a cafe culture. And right now, Pittsburgh is the place if you need to do massive scale automation and do it competently so it's actually going to work. Across town in the city's space and defense district, Gecko Robotics is putting AI to work in the hardest places. Steel plants, power stations, military infrastructure, Around here, AI doesn't just have to be smart, it has to be tough. The thing to understand is that if you don't get access to the problems, it's very hard to build very good solutions. And so we have incredible technology and research um, that is done at universities um, here in Pittsburgh. And there is a moment right now where the companies that have existed for over 100 years, like US Steel, is clamoring for AI and robotics wow. to help guide them into the future to create another 100 years of incredible um, growth, um, development, and support for the economy, and we're doing that right here. Over on AI Avenue, the team at Abridge is moving fast, bringing healthcare AI to scale and proving that Pittsburgh has not just the talent, but the traction to lead. VC is really closely following healthcare tech. It's, it's a place of significant growth, and Abridge is, is leading this globally in Pittsburgh. That's right, because there's the sandbox here, you know, the sandbox for innovation. And it's not just the health institutions that are here, it's also the talent that's here. We go really, really deep on being able to kind of unpack our challenges in a way that other companies can. And that's to, thanks to the, the people that are here and the sandbox that we've got here. And I think this industry more than any other industry has adopted AI so quickly 
because we just need automation. We need technology. We need to find a way to scale and to force up, multiply all of our clinicians, all of our doctors and nurses. For us, what's been invaluable, and I think what has a lot to do with our success over these years is that we also have access to incredible world-class AI talent. The lifeblood of AI is energy. And at EQT, one of America's largest natural gas producers, Toby Rice is showing how Pittsburgh's energy legacy is fueling more than just innovation. AI is going to change the way our world works, but this is bigger than just making our technology work a little bit more seamlessly. Winning the AI race is the key to our national security, it's the key to our economic security, and this region holds an amazing amount of potential. Now it's time for us to build this industry here. It's time for us to power Pennsylvania. It's time for us to flip the switch. Pittsburgh innovators aren't chasing hype. They're chasing answers. Solving problems that once seemed out of reach. Building AIs that don't just work in theory, but work in the real world, on roads, hospitals, factory floors, this is a city where people roll up their sleeves and take on the hard stuff, not for headlines, but for impact. The future is being built here, but if we want a future that's safer, smarter, more secure, we can't build it alone. Pittsburgh needs the world, and the world needs Pittsburgh.